So what's going on? This is Jay the Prophet. I want to talk about something that's a little, little bit touchy today. These days. For the past two years. Definitely has been a touchy, touchy subject. Political. Emotional. Even a physical subject. More than all. More than everything. I really want to talk about you know, YouTube, we good? I want to make sure we good with YouTube, you know. I want to talk about, you know, I, I posted a clip. I didn't get any uh, any notifications from YouTube on it, but it was about um, the British news station. There was a medical expert explaining these particular blood clots that um, cause them death and bodily harm. So, you know, a lot higher in the last two years, okay? Let me play the clip. I'm going to play the clip. All right, we'll go from there. So the, the signs and symptoms of, of this particular type of blood clot, so it's a very unique, so it's called vaccine-induced thrombocytopenia, which is a reduction in platelets, so low platelets, which means you're more likely to bleed. Platelets help with clotting. From so sorry, I'm going to have to stop you there. This always happens to us. So, Y'all heard that. Y'all see that she was cut off. And when they realized what she dove into it with, as with the vaccine-induced, da-da-da-da-da-da, and then she got to going into it a little bit more. Antennas went up. Gave her about five to ten seconds of saying what she had to say. And they cut her off and went to weather. The weather. Maybe there was a, you know, a random tornado that popped up. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? So, I don't want to go down into the rabbit hole. In a sense. But I will state points to where that I feel are factual. I know that's a odd statement to say, but there's so many facts and foes around, facts and fakes everywhere. Like, who knows what's what? But me, I try to take a logical look at it and I look at the reporting and the consistency in the reporting and we know that this came out of a lab. This was developed. No. It did not come from Batman. Or nobody else from DC. But. It did come from man. And that takes us all the way to now. Boom. And I even got anxiety. Discussing this myself. I, I'm vaccinated. Do <laughs> Do I do I sleep easier knowing this? Eh, what can we do? We live with it. And now that we know we maybe we, we do certain things differently. You know, maybe you have to make some health changes. You know, that's the part about living. That's the part about being a human being is you adapt. So with that said, keep moving forward. This is no reason to give up because we're far from that. This is their first attempt, whoever they are. This is serious. So Damar Hamlin falls out in the middle of an NFL game. He has been considered brain dead. Resulting from, I assume, a stroke, cardiac, they say he had cardiac arrest, so, you know, I'm not a doctor, but it does play a role, the strokes, is the brain. I pray, you know, I, I ask on everybody to pray for his um full recovery. I really hope that these reports are wrong, you know about you know the political side of it because there is the he's in critical condition they like to you know use critical condition as a as a way you know it could be going this way or that way then the other people are saying oh he's brain dead meaning he's pretty much on a ventilator and he can't breathe on his own i did read some reports today saying that 
his breathing, the ventilator assistance went from uh, 100% of his breathing down to 50%. So he may be physically, and we pray that he comes to it and this isn't for all of us, everybody. No one should be applauding this. No one should be rooting for this. Because like I said, it was made in a lab. It's a double-edged sword. In the NFL, y'all ain't going to be able to compassion your way out of this. You will not compassion your way out of this. Oh, <laughs>